Naomi Bennett and we're going to review what we think 2014 will look like and this is classic predictions for mundane and for financial for all of the years so this is a major overview um, last year was dramatic we are going through a series of five aspects that are ongoing in multiple years from 2012 especially 2013 and now especially 2014 and then it will fade out in 2015 and you see that in all of our governments all these stalemates of the right and the left fighting with each other and not being able to make any resolution instead they dig in their heels and nothing is accomplished well this is another one of those years except we wind up having some additional aspects that make it more extreme than what we've seen so far and that won't be until April so I'm anticipating we'll have a reasonably good first quarter but watch out for the second quarter in April most of the other astrologers the major ones have already written about this period of time we're all anticipating that there should be some rather dramatic events in April for the United States and we'll go through some of those charts later on in the video but overall it's going to be a difficult year it's not going to be a good year uh, the stock market should do very well in the first quarter but it's likely to fall on its face very much in April and then we'll have all the side effects with that so that's what's sort of being anticipated this is sort of a repeat of what happened during 1929 to 1934 and what most people don't realize is yes they talk about the crash of 29 but the bigger crash was in 1933 after the stock market recovered and had a major rise well we're under the same similar aspects not exactly the same but the similar ones and so we've had a dramatic rise since uh, the big crash in 2008 and remember it got even a little deeper in March of 2009 and then it's nothing but climbed out of its hole it rose up 25 percent just in this one year and then now we're here very close to 1933 repeating itself so most of us are anticipating that this is going to be a very tough year for the stock market we'll be very surprised if that doesn't happen so let's go on and look at the charts and see what my predictions are all right this is the major chart I use for the 2014 transits for people that know astrology these are just the hard aspects of uh, conjunctions oppositions and squares but I do use the planetary nodes and those are the lines that are across this chart the green is the node of Jupiter the purple is the node of Pluto uh, Mars is the I mean the red is the node of Mars and then at the bottom I can't remember, uh, blue is the node of Uranus and those are wind up being hidden but very important aspects to the chart and then uh, the other thing I want to explain is the big uh, red boxes are the most important times of the year those are eclipse periods but the one the eclipse that's in April is going to be the most important time period of the year and of course we'll have multiple events so we will go through the first quarter each quarter individually uh, with each recording but this is the massive overview and this is the concern that I have is that grand cross that's happening in the middle of April because it involves four major planets but it also is happening during an eclipse period and so invariably you're going to wind up having very important world events happen during this time and it will probably be the most important period of time of the year will be this particular time period and of course you'll wind up having ramifications for the rest of the year so during this year we will have two more uh, exact squares of Uranus and Pluto the one that's um, happening in the uh, let's see in the March to May time period and then we have another one that's in November December time period but we also have a, a corresponding aspect you'll see that arrow at the very top where it says Mars RX that's Mars retrograde 
And mostly what's important with that is that Mars is a business aspect. It's high energy. It can represent violence or police action, authority action. And it winds up when you have the RX being stationary and repeating itself three times over the same spot. So you wind up having a magnification during that time. So we're anticipating that, again, we think it's a very strong probability that there's going to be a major event in the U.S. Uh, the financial astrologers are thinking that it's going to affect the stock market. It's hard for me to believe that with the strength of this aspect that it's not going to rock the stock market, that there should be a major dip. I think that the stock market will hold firm in the first quarter, but the second quarter is another matter. So let's look on some more specific um, charts on specific aspects that may occur. Now we have a chart of the United States, its birth chart, which was um, July the 4th, 1776. It's the most classic chart that most astrologers use. There is some debate, but this will be a real test of this chart. Because notice the first big red block, that grand cross that I've identified, is square on the, the United States sun. So the probability of a major event happening in the United States is very strong. And that's indicated with the arrow. So we're looking in the mid time period of April when we're likely to see a series of events. That's why we're anticipating that it's very likely that we could have a major drop or a panic in the stock market during this time because it's also during a solar eclipse. So you have a grand cross and a solar eclipse and it's on the U.S. Sun and it's Saturn in opposition. That is a very, very strong signature. I would be shocked if we didn't have a series of it during this time. And then we have one other major period later on with the next eclipse period. But let's focus on that Grand Cross first because that is going to determine what the rest of this year looks like. Let's go on to the next chart. This is a chart of Edward Snowden who uh, sacrificed his own personal life to be able to reveal the secrets of the NSA. And right now he's basically a fugitive in Russia where the U.S. has accused him of spying and espionage against the U.S. and revoked his passport. So he's stuck in Russia. This is his chart and basically he's likely to be in the news during this period of time. If you look at the long rectangular red bar at the bottom, that is Saturn doing a dance of the three passes across his midheaven. So he's going to continue being in the public's eye, but with lots of restrictions. He's going to likely feel depressed or restricted and have legal issues all the way through until October. It might lighten up at that time. And uh, also at the top of his chart, we see that there are aspects for that Grand Cross in his chart. Uh, so this is not going to be an easy year for Mr. Snowden. Now let's go on and look at the NSA chart. This is the birth chart of the NSA, and it is a dramatic one that definitely shows that it is a gigantic entity and there's plenty of secrets and heaviness to it. And the number one thing to basically say is that it will continue to be in the news this year. And the Grand Cross that's going to happen in April is likely to have some NSA events also with it. And we will have to talk about more of this in the coming quarterly updates. The last chart is Fukushima. They are removing the nuclear spent rods we could still have a radiation event or another nuclear disaster it doesn't let, look good but let's cross our fingers and hope for the best all right on to the first quarter